Hello and welcome. Neck and decollete rejuvenation and anti-aging has become a huge topic of discussion over the last few years with the introduction of the term tech neck, those horizontal lines that we get from glancing down at our devices. Now I have to imagine if you're 50 plus like me, that tech neck is probably only one of many concerns you have about the skin of your neck and decollete. I have to say that wasn't the first thing I thought of when I was looking at the skin of my neck and recognizing that it didn't match the skin on my face. The reason is I spent about five years building a really great skincare routine and taking care of the skin of my face and sort of only haphazardly addressing the skin of my neck and decollete. Three years ago, I had an operation on my thyroid and actually two operations, which left me with a huge scar. So I was doing a lot of focusing on my neck because I had a lot of scar care to do post-surgical. And I realized that the skin of my face was looking so much better than the skin of my neck and decollete. When I went in to address the scar on my neck about a year post-op, I wanted to have some treatments done to diminish the look of the scar. My dermatologist pointed out that what was really kind of making the mismatch was not just the scar, but it was also the appearance and the discoloration that I had on my neck and decollete compared to my face. So I embarked on a huge journey of taking better care of that area. The first thing that I started doing, which seems so obvious, was bringing my skincare down all the way to my decollete. And it really does seem obvious, but it made a huge difference. I started including all the lovely hydrating ingredients that I used in my face skincare routine all the way down. And even just that boost in hydration made a huge difference. One cream that I introduced really early on in my neck and decollete rejuvenation is the Dermatology Advanced Neck Cream. Before I actually tried this, I never really thought of a moisturizer dedicated for the neck and decollete would be of any improvement. But I have to say that doing my full skincare routine and then adding this on top before I put on my sunscreen has been a game changer. This is just emollients, peptides, but it's highly hydrating and it just gives the skin on my neck the luminosity and reflectiveness that wasn't there. So that was my first step, bringing all my hydrating skincare down adding an additional moisturizer because the area of my neck was a lot more flaky and crepey looking than my facial skin. The next step in my skincare routine that I started applying diligently to my neck and decollete was sunscreen. Again, this seems so obvious, but sometimes I hesitated because my sunscreen might have a tint in it and I didn't feel like getting that down on the collar of my shirt. I started getting a dedicated sunscreen for my neck that was untinted. The one that I chose early on was the Broad Spectrum 45. This is a combination sunscreen by Dermatology. Any untinted sunscreen will improve your adherence to applying sunscreen every day to your neck, decollete and don't forget the back of your neck especially if you have short hair because that was an area that I neglected all the time never even entered my mind I don't know why it seems so simple in retrospect but getting into that habit has really changed the look of my skin on the neck and decollete because I'm not repeatedly getting the sun damage so once you've got the hydration and the sun protection down the next thing that you want to introduce to that area is actives and you want to do this really slowly because the area of your neck and decollete that skin is so thin and it can react differently i would do a patch test for any actives that you bring down to the neck and decollete the first thing that i introduced was lactic acid it was one that my face tolerated well so i just introduced good jeans by Sunday Riley. So that was one of the first actives that I used in that area. And since then, I've also introduced my masks, the skincare masks that I do every once a week or once every other week into my decollete. Again, definitely patch test these. These are just two brightening masks that I use, the Green Robos I've talked about a lot, and the Flash Mask by Pillow Talk Derm. Both of those brighten the skin of your neck and decollete. And that's what really ages you, the discoloration of the skin because of all that photo damage that we've incurred over the years. In addition to incorporating masking for brightening, I also have adjusted my evening skincare routine. Now, three or four nights a week, I'll use my 15% glycolic pads. You can also get, these are from my dermatologist, they're 15% glycolic. You can also get the Dr. Loretta pads that are 10% glycolic. Glycolic is lightening and brightening, but I do that at night because it's also very exfoliating and definitely do a patch test before you start glycolic. It can be slightly irritating, but I've slowly introduced it and my skin on the neck and decollete has looked 
so much brighter and lighter since doing that. One that's a little bit more gentle that I've just started trying in the last week is the Dermalect Self-Esteem Neck Firming Lift. This is their professional product. This has alpha hydroxy acids, beta hydroxy acids. It also has squalane and avocado oil. It's a beautiful neck cream that is a bit of a boost to just a normal emollient cream to reduce creepiness. This actually has actives that will help lighten and brighten the skin. And I've only used this for a week, so I can't attest to the benefits of this quite yet, but if you wanted something a little bit more gentle than the Dr. Loretta pads or something that you might pick up from your dermatologist's office, this is a great option. I believe they're having a Memorial Day sale coming up. And of course, as always, I'll include all the links and the sales and the discount codes down below. Another ingredient that I started introducing into my evening neck and decollete routine is my retinoids. I was originally bringing tretinoin down to my neck and decollete. This started being a little bit too irritating, especially more recently. So I backed off and started using a retinaldehyde. As soon as you introduce a retinol that you've been using on your face into your neck and decollete, things really start to even out. So when I'm not using my prescription strength, I'm using a retinaldehyde. This is the one by Aben. This is their Retronal 0.1, a retinaldehyde formula that's very gentle and extremely moisturizing. I have never had any irritation from this cream. It's very gentle and it's one step down from the prescription tretinoin. As far as a vitamin A, it has to make one conversion to become active in the skin. I've also started introducing my at-home anti-aging devices. A month ago, I started introducing LED red light for improving collagen and elastin production, reducing discoloration and overall tone and texture. This is the Neck and Deck Mask by Omnilux and I use that five nights a week. A year and a half ago, I started doing cosmetic microneedling at home and I used the stacked skincare roller. Then I kind of graduated to a pen. However, I've backed off my at-home cosmetic microneedling routine in the last year because I've been doing several in-office treatments about every three to four months. And I'm gonna be sharing with you in a video all the in-office procedures that I've had done on my neck and decollete and scar area. Finally, I wanna share with you some in-office treatments that you might consider depending on your skincare goals. Now, I had this huge post-surgical scar that I was interested in diminishing the look of, so I went in for a series of medical microneedling treatments. And medical microneedling is 0.5 needle depth all the way up to 3.0, and they did go up to 3.0, especially on my scar area. And I did get some improvement, but they said to get further improvement that I would need some laser treatments. So I sought out a specialist in lasers and they recommended Fraxel. They also recommended IPL, which is a broader band wavelength of light as opposed to Fraxel, which is a laser. So I had a series of both of these types of treatments, IPL to address sort of pigment and discoloration and texture, and then Fraxel to sort of rejuvenate the skin, collagen building, elastin building, and definitely retexturize the skin and help even out the look of my neck and decollete with the look of the skin on my face. So I've gone through a series of these. I'm on my last series this summer. So this fall, I will have completely healed up from that and be able to share my full experience with you. And additionally, I've also tried out a bit of Botox on my neck. I have very strong platysmal bands in my neck and it kind of gives me that stringy neck appearance. Your dermatologist can also be really helpful by prescribing prescription topicals that are just more intense than what you can find over the counter like hydroquinone or prescription strength vitamin A. But the bottom line is if you have laxity, none of the things that we talked about today are going to address extreme laxity. That is actually obviously going to be a surgical resolution. So we can do so much to improve the look and the texture of our skin. But in the end, we're going to age. We're going to have lax jowls. We're going to have a lax neck. We're going to have lines. But I hope some of the ideas that I shared with you today can help you start on your journey of neck and decollete rejuvenation at home. And if you have any questions, please leave me a comment down below. Thanks very much for joining me today and wishing you all a fantastic day.